Hi, third and fourth graders. This video is for you today. Today we're going to talk about prefixes and suffixes again. And this time we're going to talk about a suffix. And remember, where is a suffix at? Beginning or at the end? Yes, you're right. It's at the end. So let's get started. Here we go. The suffix we're going to talk about today is L-Y. Can you say that? L-Y. And when you have L-Y, it says Lee. What does it say? Lee, yes, and it means in a blank way. In a blank way? Well, what does that mean? It means that you do something in a certain way. So let's look at this word. Let's look at this word right here. Here's some more. We'll start on this side. So here's my word. There's my L-Y at the end. And hmm, it's at the end of the word. Now, how would I decide what this word is? Well, I look here. This word is slow. And then I put that on the end, so slowly. So L-Y says Lee, and it's at the end of the word usually. And it says in a blank way. So how would I do something if I was doing it this way? You're right, I would do it in a slow way. So slowly means in a slow way. All right, friends, let's get to it. Let's get these words today. We're going to come back to that one. That's a big word. We're going to use our strategies that we've learned here. So let's start here with this word. Okay, here's my suffix at the end. Remember, L-Y says Lee. Lee. So, angerly. What word? Angerly. So that means in an you do something in an anger way. So it means that you kind of do it mad. All right, here we go. Next word. L-Y says Lee. This is the word. Bad. Put it together. Badly. That means in a bad way. The next one, here we go, is there's that prefix or suffix. You're right, it's a suffix because it's at the end. L-Y says Lee, gladly. Put it together, gladly. So you would do it in a glad way. All right, friends, let's see if you can figure out what these mean and how to say them. Get ready, here you go. Sound, word, luckily, yes. And how would that mean? Yes, in a lucky way. Next one. Sound. Word. Yes, finally. And that means in a what? Okay, here we go. Next one. L-Y says. Lee, yes, Lee. Okay, let's chunk this up. Hmm, how would I do that? Well, first I'm going to find my vowels. Well, here's my O, so I'm going to underline that. Here's my E. I'm going to underline that, so I'm going to go like this. Completely, and then I can put it together. Completely, yes, completely, very good. So in a complete way, means you finish it all. Okay, let's go back up to this tricky word that I said earlier. All right, let's find all the vowels. There's the A. Where's my next one? There's the I, because this is a longer word. I'm trying to chunk this word. There's my E, and there's my A. Okay, so how would I separate this? You're right, I would go X, it, and, a, Lee. Accidentally, accidentally. Nice work, my friends. So L-Y, where did you notice all of my L-Ys were at on these words? Yes, they are all at the end of the word. So when you have L-Y together, it's usually going to be at the end of the word. And L-Y says Lee, and it means in a blank way or in a certain way. The other thing that we're talking about this week, friends, is called theme. Theme. And with theme, there's lots of different parts. So today we're going to add a little bit more to it. Remember, the theme of the story is the message that the author is trying to get across to us. Or it could be the moral of the story or the lesson that they want us to learn in this story. The theme, sometimes it's stated. Sometimes it's right there. We can figure it out. If the author tells us what the theme is, like, for example, fables, they give us the theme at the end of the story. But sometimes, friends, the theme is a little bit harder to find. It's implied means that we have to use what we know about the setting and the events to find out the theme. Okay, and this is usually the case most of the time when we're reading the story. So as you're reading today, 
I want you to be looking for those words that have the L-Y at the end of them and write those down. Jot a list down. What words are you seeing with L-Y? What patterns are you noticing? And also be thinking about that theme of your story. Tomorrow, we'll talk about what some common themes in the story are and see if your theme is on my list. Until next time, bye.